we lift five newtons with one newton of force. So what's the mechanical advantage? Five divided by one. Five. Very good. I can tell he's a math scholar right here, right? Very good. So you're getting five times... For nearly 40 years, Albert Seidlecki has taught science to middle school students. That solid, when it forms, is referred to as a precipitate, okay? Most of those years have been spent here at Medford Township Memorial Middle School, where he's affectionately known as Mr. Psy. Remember, it's very important that you observe carefully what happens. Wafting, there's all these different senses you're going to use, right? Psy Throughout his career, Mr. Psy has touched many of his students' lives by using a hands-on learning approach and also challenging them to always do their best. But he never realized how much he meant to some of these kids until he received a phone call from a former student. The secretary said, it's not another teacher, it's not the school nurse, it's a doctor from the Dallas-Fort Worth area who would adamantly wants to speak to you right this minute. And she said, it's a, a Dr. Bono. And I, I, re I remembered the name. I said, I said, Lee Bono. I said, Lee, Lee, what's going on? I said, what are you calling me for? Lee was one of Mr. Sy's students from the mid-80s, and since then has become a noted neurosurgeon. I was operating a judge, and the judge, I had to do what's called an awake craniotomy, where I'm doing a, a brain procedure on someone who's awake because the tumor is in their motor area of speech. The judge uh, had difficulty speaking, and after the surgery was finished, uh, he could speak and he was crying and the wife was crying as well and I was at the bedside he said you make sure that you thank Mr. Sai he didn't really use Mr. Sai's name but the person that the teacher that you had make sure you thank him for the inspiration to be here he called me it changed the way I looked at every student from that phone call on it was a, it was a life-changing phone call. And I said, why would you call me? He said, do you remember that day after school, I took the brain and spinal cord out of the frog? You told me it was the best one you'd ever seen. He said to me, you know, you got the hands for surgeon, you're a smart, bright boy, and you could be a surgeon. You could be a brain surgeon if you wanted to. I remember that. I remember that clearly. You could be a brain surgeon. And that is a very important thing especially when you're 13 years old. Because if you didn't think that, or if you had no idea you even wanted to be a brain surgeon, now that pops into your head. And you could say to yourself, you know what? It's my teacher who I respect told me that I have what it takes to be a brain surgeon. As a matter of fact, I saved that brain and spinal cord. And I, I presented it to him today. Strange as it may sound, Lee, I saved the frog's brain that you removed from your frog 25 years ago. Are you kidding me? And what I have here is a, uh, I'm sure that you could probably find a spot to hang this if you ever can get out of the operating room and into your office. It's but a beautiful gift, but the meaning behind it, it goes far beyond words. It's a larger representation of the meaning of that lesson. It wasn't just watching a kid take out a brain. It was telling a kid, you know what, like a son, like a father would say to a son, you can be anything you want in life. You can be the President of the United States, you can be an astronaut. just so happens, after that I really realized I wanted to be a brain surgeon, and so I did it. Had he not said that, maybe it wouldn't have happened. I got interested in science because of Professor Seidlecki. He is an unbelievable teacher. Mr. Seidlecki is an educator. He's not so much a teacher, he's an educator. He stuck in my mind like those bare essentials that your parents teach you when you're young. But it's very important for an educator not only teach their lessons, but to help shape the young mind. And he wasn't just coming to work to make a paycheck. He was coming to work to do his life's work. That phone call changed the way I looked at every single student. From that minute forward, uh, when I realized that every single person has this potential. I never thought that what I did was a gift. Going to be an exciting... Teach. I think it is. I think it's a gift. What I have the ability, and all the teachers have the ability to, is to reach out and touch somebody in a positive way. I'm lucky for you, you're the 
that's going to produce a product that's going to make a better world for some other people, someplace, sometime. Uh, we give students the ability to solve problems that haven't even yet been determined. And we give them the tools to be able to do that with some degree of success. We've done a fine job, all of us collectively. Look at you, look at you, you're a man.